Reducing our collective carbon footprint isn't a new phenomenon. In fact, the hotter the earth gets, the more we hear about ways we can slow the impact of climate change. Ride a bike or walk instead of drive. Turn off lights when they're not in use. Recycle and compost. Conserve water. Nevertheless, there are other eco-friendly choices that you can make daily that you've probably never considered before. Watch until the end to find out which one is the most impactful. I'm Lindy, coming to you from Empower Solar, a family-owned residential solar installation company in NYC that's dedicated to building a greener, more sustainable future. Ready to get into five out-of-the-box ways to reduce your own carbon footprint? Let's go. Tip one, live a library lifestyle. According to Earth.org, the shipping and return of products in 2020 accounted for 37% of the total global greenhouse gas emissions. Couple that with 54% of the world's total delivered energy being consumed by industrial manufacturing, and we have ourselves a big problem. By utilizing the library to borrow everyday items, you'll play a big role in cutting down on resource-heavy production and shipping. While libraries offer typical loaner items like books, video games, and movies, they also loan out other types of hidden treasures. Things like board games, musical instruments and sheet music, tools, kitchenware, and cooking appliances are all specialty items that your local library likely has in stock and available for you to borrow free of charge. Tip two, mind your digital habits. It's easy to use technology without thinking about the carbon footprint left behind. Sadly, everyday technologies are doing more harm to the earth than we think. Don't worry, you don't need to throw away your cell phone or laptop to make a difference. Minding your digital habits is about little tweaks. Take the omnipresent cloud for instance. Though the cloud isn't something we can physically see, there are physical data centers that power it. In fact, the International Energy Agency reported that in 2022, data centers accounted for 2% of global electricity usage. By 2026, this number is expected to rise to 6%. By cleaning up your email inbox, unsubscribing from unread marketing emails, and ridding of unnecessary cloud storage, you'll do your part in lowering the energy used in these massive data centers while also lowering your own carbon carbon footprint. Tip three, create green retirement investments. If you've already made it to retirement, a big congratulations are in order. However, if you're of the estimated 65% of the population that hasn't yet retired, here's how to make your retirement investments as sustainable as possible. Since your retirement money is quite literally fueling the companies it supports, it's important to know what companies you're contributing to. The first step is to check who your money supports. If you're investing in companies with larger carbon footprints, simply switch your money to a fund that supports renewable energy instead. As of March 2025, in the United States alone, retirement funds held a collective $44.1 trillion. Imagine the impact that could be made if even a small portion of that was transferred to sustainable companies. Check your retirement fund or ask your employer or provider if ESGs, or Environmental Social Governance Funds, are available. These plans help you easily invest in companies that pledge lower emissions and better environmental practices. Plus, they might perform better than traditional funds in the long term. Tip four, practice slow fashion. It's never been easier to buy clothing. To meet your wardrobe needs or stay on top of the latest fashion trends, all you have to do is search online. Fast fashion, or the rapid and plentiful production of clothing sold at a low cost, is expected to have consumers purchasing 102 million tons of clothes in 2030. The greenhouse gases from the production of textiles already equals 1.2 billion tons a year, more than all international flights and maritime ships combined. What's more is that three out of five of these quickly produced garments will end up in a landfill. There are a few ways that you can help lower emissions created by the fashion industry. Purchase timeless clothing. For a slightly higher price, you can purchase garments that will never go out of style and will hold up much longer too. Shop secondhand. Keep clothing out of landfills by shopping at thrift and consignment stores. This also reduces demand for new clothing, which limits chemical pollution. Donate your clothes. Instead of throwing away clothes that you're bored with, donate them to a local thrift store or clothing drive. Tip five, use your voice for collective change. Beginning to make small changes in your daily life is a great place to start when it comes to reducing your carbon footprint. Yet the real change is made when large groups of people start advocating for sustainability. If you're a homeowner, invest in solar panels for your roof and discuss the impact with your neighbors. Join the community board to advocate for sustainable practices in your neighborhood. When we band together for collective change, the impact multiplies. Let's recap. Greenhouse gas emissions are going up year over 
every year, even though our collective education about sustainability is larger than ever. However, there are lesser known practices that you can begin to implement now that will lower our future carbon footprint. Borrow common household items from the library instead of buying them brand new. Clean up your computer storage to put less pressure on the large data centers. Move your retirement investments to support sustainable companies. Don't participate in fast fashion. Instead, invest in well-made timeless garments and donate them as needed. Last and most importantly, use your voice for change. And speaking of, what other unique ways do you reduce your carbon footprint? Let us know in the comments.